This is the uh, transponder, COM1, and NAV1. Uh, the most interesting thing here actually is probably NAV1. Um, it uses uh, waypoints, so for one thing, right now I'm tuned into the Lakeland localizer, but at the same time, the Lakeland localizer does not have distance measuring equipment, which you'd see here nautical miles, knots. Uh, approaching or uh, retreating knots and minutes to target. Um, however, that information is on their VOR, so I've tuned that frequency into uh, display 3, and then whenever I send it to use, I get distance measuring equipment, but then at that point, I would have lost the localizer over here. So what I'm going to do then is hold this frequency and that splits the screen so this DME is now held in and then I go back to display one and use and then that gives me my ILS information either here or if we're using the HSI, it would be on the HSI here. So you can also set waypoints. Uh, there's four of them. Uh, basically, tuning into a frequency. Let's go ahead and use 110 just as an example. And then switching to data, you can choose a radial, let's say 060, and then a distance. Uh, 40 nautical miles and then that waypoint is set and whenever you see over here it will reflect uh, the imaginary waypoint so you don't have to fly directly to a station if we could do if we were to do that.